And this is where we left off from part six. So I believe it's part seven. Sorry if I'm, if I'm wrong about that, but I believe it's part seven. Um, this is where we left off in part seven. It's pretty much. All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Onslaught, and pretty much coming back to you guys with the continuation of this. I had to actually get 15 per prismatic cores, and um, so I went ahead and did that, as you can see with the whole editing the video. Like I said, I was going to do. Um, so pretty much this. Pretty much the continuation of the game. There's the exit. How are we supposed to get up there? It's way too high. Let's keep going. Maybe there's something in this facility that will help. Well, okay. Um, I mean, okay, no problem. Find a way up the train. What the hell? Okay, well, obviously, I can't go that way. So, I guess I have to go this way. Well, I found him. That's, I guess, good. direction. Let's find some more cell bots. Okay. All right. All this unrefined E-Turner looks toxic. I hope none of the core bots have been using it. Bench. That might come in handy. Like I said, you can't have a core bot without a frame. And the scientist who invented the frame is, of course, your mission leader and chief scientist, Dr. Julius Roldan. Did I ever tell you how he and I met? 
It was the first mandate conference for all the research groups around the world working on the Dust Devil crisis. There were hundreds of people there, and Julius just happened to sit next to me. He told me he liked my Robbie the Robot t-shirt. And then he cracked a crazy joke about robotics researchers and their armies of killer robots. He was outspoken, ambitious, the exact opposite of me. I felt like a geek hanging out with a rock star. But ever since that day, Julius was more than my colleague. He was my friend. another part <laughs> refining each of them isn't easy there would never be enough of it to fuel all the core bots we wanted shortages were inevitable if we weren't careful ought to be good. Another flyer part. like another cell bot got scared out of its socket. I'm pretty sure something's gonna pop up over here. Yes. yes! We've got everything we need to make a flyer. There was a workbench back where we found the first part. Let's go, guys.
Looking good, Seth. Now we can fly up to the exit door. Time to fly. That's a big gap, but we should be able to glide across. Come here, buddy. Over here, Seth. Seth, time to fly. I got a bad feeling about this. You can try and stop us, but it's not gonna work. Oh my goodness. Do it! Tower. Come on. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to end it right here in part seven of Record. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay as well as I am. Next, next one will be, I guess, pretty much um, to get a, another transmission again. So yeah, so we're going to do with that. Part 8 will be coming up pretty soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace out.